Hi guys. So right now I'm in the Dallas Arboretum and I'm hunting for Pokemon. Why am I here? Uh, you know, so if you haven't heard the news of Thunder Rock, Pokemon in the real world, see them with your phone, catch them, you know, uh, go to gyms, set up your Pokemon, fight other trainers, get Pokecoins and win. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Um, and even here, let's see, you can see there's some trainers that way. Uh, let's get down real quick. Uh, uh, there were some trainers over there at least anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, so what are some of the pros of Pokemon Go? Um, well, catching Pokemon in the real world is awesome. I mean, this was what the game was about. All the 20 year olds are super happy because back when they were 10 and playing the Game Boy game, this is what they did. They would go into the world and catch Pokemon. So be, having this experience in the real world is pretty great. Uh, people are walking. <laughs> you know, like I took a couple steps there. People are walking and exploring new places. Um, I've explored some parks that I haven't been to before. Uh, Rockwell Harbor. Who knew that that was a good place to catch Pokemon and a good place to go on a date? Now I know, right? Um, plus all the like, landmarks that you see that people just didn't noticed before. Uh, so that's pretty great. Um, people are getting to know each other and um, apparently there's a Pokemon dating app now. You know, sure, right? Um, also, this is starting a new technology. I mean, people are guessing that, you know, Apple and uh, Zynga and all these other uh, technology companies are going to make a big profit from this because Pokemon Go is just the, like one of the first augmented reality games uh, I'm kind, and kind of prove that, that the concept can work. Um, other pro, I mean, Nintendo's back in better footing. Uh, from last I heard, I mean, they, their stock price doubled, right? So, you know, these are good things. <sighs> these are good things. Um, some of the cons, though, um, uh, so I'm currently level 20, level 21. Um, and it just, it took, a, it took a while to get here, um, you know. So I'm a teacher and I'm on summer vacation. So, you know, I thought it could take a couple days to just grind, you know, go to the park, go to the Arboretum you know, get to these higher levels. Um, but it has made me wonder, if Pokemon were real, but they go extinct, right? I mean, all we do is just catch, right? I mean, the slogan is gotta catch them all. If Pokemon were real, would we go extinct, right? So something to think about. Um, and, you know, even in the game, I sometimes wonder if I'm a Pokemon trainer, or just a Pokemon farmer, I mean, all we do is, is, you know, catch like hundreds of Pidgeys, catch hundreds of Rattatas, right? Just to get that experience to level up. Um, you know, it's not like the game where, you know, you can catch one Charmander and then, you know, have that be your buddy that goes with you up until, you know, level 100 or whatever, right? You know, most, most likely that first starter that you get, you're just going to, you know, throw it away, like not throw it away, but, you know, transfer it to the professor. Uh, just because as you level up, you get different Pokemon and the Pokemon that get strong aren't uh, your uh, favorite Pokemon, they're just so your most abundant Pokemon. So that's something that kind of bothers me. Um, something else that kind of bothers me is that as you level up, um, Pokemon become harder to catch for no real reason. So just a while ago I ran into a Pidgeot that, you know, I threw the ball, broke out, fine. But then I could, it became uncatchable because it was just like really far away, right? So, you know, you throw the ball really far away, but then there's like a, that mystery win, so it won't hit it. Then you curve the ball, but it's so far away, the curve doesn't get to it, right? Um, so it just makes me wonder, uh, it just makes me feel that like the grind to level 20, from between level 20 and 30 and beyond, it's gonna be really difficult. Um, <laughs> apparently the max cap is level 40. You need tw 20 million XP for that. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know how many people are going to get there. Uh, I wonder, I think more people are going to get frustrated um, before we get there. And part of the reason is because, you know, the game doesn't feel super complete. Um, yeah, yeah, catching Pokemon is fun. Yeah, hatching eggs is fun and going to gyms is kind of fun. But, um, I don't know. And I, it, it feels like, I wish you could do more, right? Like, you know, the trading or battling your friends, you know, or, or those these events that were, were rumored. You know, that would make it more interesting. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I think I'm at a Poke stop here. Yeah, I see some trainers stopping. So, you know, before I get tired, let's hit that up. Bye, guys.